Nick Fuentes has got to be one of the dumbest people on planet Earth right now because he decided to poke the bear a few days ago by saying some of the one of the dumbest things I could ever thought a human being could utter out. He went to Twitter saying, your body, my choice forever. And because of that tweet he made on election day, he ended up having a bunch of personal information leak about him and people coming to his house and a whole lot of crazy shit. Now, people could look at this one or two ways. It's wrong. You shouldn't do it no matter what. But at the same time, I'm of the mindset that if you say something extremely stupid or wrong or damn near batshit crazy, you need to handle whatever gets thrown your way. Like, you can't say certain things online and then end up acting like the perpetual victim. Now, is Nick Fuentes doing that? No, it seems like he don't even care. But Nick Fuentes, for people who don't know, he has been a self-admitted Nazi. He's one of the guys that attended the Charlottesville protest. And then funny enough, he got denied admission to Auburn University in Alabama because of stuff like that. I don't even know why you would want to go to Auburn of all places. I mean, granted, Alabama has a history of racism and racists that probably still live there. But I think even those people would beat the hell out of Nick Fuentes for half the stuff he said. Do you know how bad it is for a white person to be denied access to Alabama? That's crazy. He is everything in the book you could possibly think of. I would go as so far. He is some type of online extremist terrorist. He's one of those people who thinks that you should be able to say what you want, do what you want without any consequences happen to you as if we live in some unrealistic utopia of a world, which is not the case at all. You say certain things, you do certain things, you win a insane prize. You win a stupid prize because you decided to play a stupid game. You fucked around. You end up finding out eventually. And let it be a lesson to people. If you don't want certain things like your personal information be leaked online, then you need to make sure and at least be able to read the room about what you say. Some extremists who are fans of him can look at this as him just trolling but this isn't even trolling or being edgy this is being stupid i mean if nick fuentes wants to live in a time where you can say what you want do what you want with no repercussions happening he needs to find a time machine that doctor who has and go back in in the year i say 2005 to 2009 and i'm pretty sure he'd have his audience there people like him refuse to adapt to change and they'd rather go out swinging as a martyr nick fuentes is not gonna have a single platform to voice his opinion and people could say well people like myself and other youtubers out there or even people who are on twitter kind of still give him a little bit of relevancy by just pointing out what he said on twitter or a clip he put on rumble but how i look at it is accountability and it's one of the things you can't ignore but one day it's gonna happen he's gonna get banned from twitter he's gonna get banned off of rumble and people can say oh rumble don't ban anyone i've heard people being banned on rumble and those people who love freedom of speech they hate being banned off of rumble of all places which you got to do something really heinous to get banned off of rumble i'm just saying and people take the whole notion of freedom of speech too literally they think that you should be able to say and do what you want with zero repercussions when that's not how the world works if the world worked like that there would be no order there wouldn't be any type of discipline being instilled if people was allowed to say and do what they wanted it would be looking like the purge every single day now, granted, I do believe in freedom of speech, but like anybody else does, but I wouldn't go as far as to say something stupid that's going to get me hit with a lot of vitriol and hate or worse. All of this is, is really, you have to look at it like it's a job. Like, you have to watch what you say, how you say it in order to maintain what you got. If you are a YouTuber doing this part-time, you working at a full-time job you need to make sure you told the line to make sure nobody tries to harass you or try to go after your job get you fired or whatever the fuck like it's just not worth it and you have to think like a business move like a business and ask yourself does it make business sense and if it don't then just don't do it
because you don't want to be that guy at work that's like oh i don't care about all these new rules and regulations that they have in place i'm still gonna do what i want oh okay and then you'd be surprised when they send you your walking papers you have to play by the rules in order to win the game there's people in this world that's willy-nilly to throw away everything they're willing to throw away their platforms they worked hard for they they're willing to throw away jobs they work at that they probably desperately need if we're being honest and it just comes to show that those people don't care about their jobs their brands their platforms like they try to pump fake and act like that they do because if you care about your job that you do or if you care about your platform or your brand you will make sure you do anything and everything to protect it even if it is something people may not like people will also be willing to sacrifice relationships which the problem in doing that is if you ain't got nobody to have your back and be in your corner then you're going to be all alone unlike if you have a team of people behind you they're going to be able to have your back no matter what unless if you're doing some weird shit of course then in that case you gotta go but with that being said y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below till next time i'll see y'all in the next video peace